the front man for Portugal, the man. Yeah. His name is not Portugal. Oh. Oh, in the stew. He's in the stew. He's in the stew. <laughs> <laughs> Always in the stew. Hello. Hello. Hey, what's happening? Nice to meet you, John. First of all, uh, thank you for taking care of our boy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he is sick, man. He's shredded, man. I gotta be honest, man. I, was, uh, I wasn't surprised by the, the shred, but uh, he definitely brought it. Thank you, John. And that was so Love cool. Love you, man. Also, what a class act this guy is. He left the stage. Yeah. To give the spotlight to Zach. I mean, what a class act, people. Come on. Give me a break. That's so generous. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I saw uh, Megadeth in Alaska back in the day. And one of the, uh, it might be the craziest performance I've ever seen. This dude, he, he gives the band a moment. So this is like one thing I saw. Gives the band a moment. Guitarist is shredding. And we sh really should have done this, but... <laughs> Guitarist is shredding. Dave Mustaine comes out. He's actually been shredding the whole time. Guitarist takes his hands off the guitar. It's been Dave's moment. It was never the guitarist moment. That's awesome. That's yeah, awesome. Give it to Zach. Cool. Yeah, Zach gets it for sure. So, uh, how are you? Uh, doing all right. My daughter was sick last night, so I'm on no sleep right mm -hmm. now. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear sorry. that. Yeah, I, I oh, was hearing good. a little bit about, uh, or reading a little bit about this condition your daughter has one in six in the whole world. I mean, Jesus, it doesn't get rarer than that, does it? Yeah, I think with uh, genetic testing, I mean, just like the nature of it is you're going to find that there's a lot of one in six. Oh, interesting. Know? Okay. I, I, I think that's just like, so what comes with her, her disease is like it's Parkinson's isms. It's like Alzheimer's dementia with kids, essentially. Oh and it God. would, I think it would have just been put under that umbrella back in the day. Wait, you said it's like Alzheimer's, dementia, and kids? Yeah. So, oh my God. So it's like neurodegenerative, um, progressive. Jeez, I mean, the man. main things that we see are like, it's cognitive stuff, you know? Like her attention span is really sh pretty short. Oh my God. I'm so but, sorry. Uh, my heart goes out to you, man. Yeah. That's so hard. Dude, she's cool as hell, man. Like, it's... Uh, it's been pretty, like, you know, we, we bring her out on stage with us every now and then. Like, if we're home, like, she can't really travel with us a ton. But when she comes out, it is the coolest shit I've ever seen. Like, she she gets out and she goes, are you ready to rock? Like, are you ready for Portugal, the band? And, you know, she did something that was so sick. Like, it, she came on stage here in Portland and she was pointing at people out in the audience. She was going... <laughs> I see you. I see you. Oh, I awesome. see you. Like oh a hardcore God. kid, man. <laughs> How old is your daughter? She just turned 12. Oh, 12. Uh, do you have any other kids? No, I just, just Francis. And Fran mm -hmm. so, do you mind if I ask you? I'm, I'm curious about the kind of stuff she's been going through. Do you mind if I ask you questions yeah, yeah, about it? for sure. Of course. So, like, when did you guys start noticing, I guess, symptoms of some issues? So I guess it was around like three years old. She, oh. um, it, it was just, she wasn't the, I guess the average kid. Yeah, she was, she's just different, you know? And we took her in for evaluations. We couldn't really figure it out. And then I think about three years ago, she started having seizures. Mm. And like just one of our friends noticed, they were, they were like, yo, she's like, she fell down a few times and we tried to catch it. Took her into the, you know, a doctor and none of it showed itself. So Zoe, um, her mom started uh, just documenting everything. Mm. And she went from like, she was having a few seizures a day to, yeah, it was really, really fast. Started having every 10 minutes. Whoa. She'd have these like mm. absent seizures, which uh, they kind of get misdiagnosed as behavioral issues. What is, like, how hey, does it Francis. look? Uh, she just zones out. For oh a shit! Okay. Yeah. So if you're like, "Hey, Francis," and she doesn't look at you, kind of just looks like attention. Mm. Okay. But uh, yeah, she started falling down like a lot, and uh, man, those medications for epilepsy are brutal. Mm. She started taking different medications and like Depakote. I'm sure you'll hear like all kinds of stories about this, but she started taking Depakote, and it's just crazy. Like she doesn't have a big vocabulary. 
And uh, they were saying one of the side effects is she's going to talk about death. And why would Francis ever? I've never known Francis to talk about that. She just doesn't. And yeah, sure enough, like two weeks in, she's like yelling at me every day. It, it's pre- it's pretty. I mean, it's just a really intense thing. Like what? seeing like wow. little kids deal with this stuff. Like I had a you died. She she started saying that to me. Like you died. I'm dead. How what? is it that a medicine has a side yeah. effect of talking about death? What the fuck? That is so bizarre. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that's. I mean, that's kind of like the the beauty of modern medicine as well is that i mean it's down to that much of a science that they know i mean that's good good to kind of have it in your pocket so if you see this uh take her off of it Mm. so you guys took her off that specific medicine yeah and the the meds she's on right now that it's it's like working working she did uh lamitrogene and lamictal and so her, her seizures are not as severe yeah, I mean, she still has them. So she was she was sick yesterday with like something else, it's just a flu, and she was just out all day. And I noticed when she came to, she was um, she she gets these migraines, and she was kind of covered up all day. And she still has them. Like she has like absent seizures, so she like disappears for a second. But mm. I mean, when she's there, she's popping, man. Mm. Mm. And so, the first three years of her life, you guys. She was like any typical baby, reaching all the developmental marks and stuff. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, um, so she toured with us. So she was out on tour with like 12 to 16 people all the time. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty difficult to gauge the like, when did she walk? Because (laughs) somebody from the crew would always pick this kid up. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, she seemed, seemed to hit everything. I mean, she... I mean, that's kind of like the scary thing about it is you're you're watching it. I see her tremors get worse. You know, I saw the epilepsy come on. I it just took a while to figure out what it was. Um, but yeah, I mean, thank God for genetic testing and and the fact that we saw what it was. I mean, the the scariest moment honestly was it's a relief to know that somebody has an idea of what it is. Um, but the six months that it took for us to get somebody to explain it to us was it was it's so brutal because there's six kids in the world. They exist in they live in China and Italy. We can't get a hold of any of those families. So we're just Zoe and I are in different places at, at, at the time. Like I'm recording. She's home and we're reading about this. And I mean, it's pretty, pretty scary. Like you're on at WebMD for mm-hmm. six months waiting for the breakdown what dude I, i'm i mean listen as a me and Ela have young kids now you know so i can only imagine just damn man and what, what was it like as she aged like what kind of symptoms did she manifest as she went from like diagnosis at three until like now she's 12 well she she got diagnosed at, at nine, like nine and a half Oh, okay, okay. Um, I guess, so she started showing symptoms at three, and then you guys didn't even know what it was until she was nine. Yeah, I mean, people mentioned a tremor. She she has, like, issues with, like, muscle. She can't really um, do the same things as most kids. I mean, the things (laughs) that I noticed along the way were, like, she loved hiking, and she can't hike anymore. Mm. You know, and and that's, it's sad to see things like that kind of go, but she becomes (laughs) interested in other things. She loves cooking and, like, I, I think it it was just the epilepsy. I mean, that's like a really let us know that something right. bigger is happening. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, dude, she's she's cool, man. Uh, and Ela, you know, thank you so much. Like, she loves wearing Teddy Fresh. Oh, like, she has yeah. felt so <laughs> that's cool. Awesome. Yeah. Like this kid. Like, yeah, she she's been loving all of that stuff. So it's cool seeing her go in and pick out her own outfit. <laughs> and that's, feel really cool. That's awesome. That's really cool. So, um, well, any so you're in? Do you live in LA? Where do you, where do you guys live? No, we're in Portland. Oh, we're Portland. outside of Portland. Okay, Portland. So, are you guys uh, on tour regularly? Or yeah, I know you guys were just out here in LA. 
Yeah, usually, I mean, we're usually out, but um, this summer it's been pretty chill, mainly the Francis stuff. Mm -hmm. So we kind of did like this handful of, of bigger shows. And dude, honestly, Zach coming on was, it was so fun. <laughs> I was originally reaching out to him about samples because he, he does so many funny like drops. Like we, we were kind of incorporating things like that into the set. <laughs> and so funny that that like him playing at the Roxy just popped up in my feed. I was <laughs> like, "Yo, dude, you kind of shred." <laughs> <laughs> and I I cannot thank you enough, John. I mean, that was the most amazing experience of my life. Oh, it was fun as hell. Yeah. Um, Charlie Day, man, we got Charlie Day, Weird Al. Zach. Is that right? Were they there? Yeah, they were the sweetest people. Like dude. everyone was just the most amazing kind-hearted people yeah that's world. awesome yeah. i met weird al once i've i didn't really talk with him though but i've heard he's a a treasured soul <laughs> yo seriously like nicest dude i've ever met like if, if like you write al and he is back within five minutes and uh yeah he's he's great we did we did a song together um a few years ago like a serious song <laughs> oh really yeah, we did that, and then we did. He remixed some of our music too, which I think getting that budget through with Atlantic Records <laughs> not, not the easiest thing right. to get a Weird Al remix. But it's so sick. It's my favorite thing we've ever done. That's awesome. I actually just because we were talking about your daughter, I know you have this GoFundMe that I want to support. Can you? It says Francis changed my life. Our search for a cure. Uh, did can you explain basically the? Yeah, so we're actually partnered with a uh, a foundation, uh, and Lorem, which helps fund research for these rare diseases. Mm -hmm. And um, dude, this was like a, the heaviest thing to me was when they told us what it was. Okay, we need to develop ASOs, genetic therapy, gene therapies. Like we need to develop a treatment for Francis. And so, and I go, okay, cool. Let's sell the house. Let's let's do all like everything we can. And I mean, the response from the doctor was like, oh no, it's not that simple. Mm -hmm. It's it's not like money. Like it's not money that you have. Um, just thinking about the other families that that deal with these rare diseases and um, just genetics. Like kind of just our whole goal is to further the research. Uh, further the science to lower the cost for family and families in the future. So it's it's really just like we're trying to put everything we can into getting people to get out and like do genetic testing. Mm. It's the easiest thing. I mean, it's so simple now and it's really accessible just to know. Oh, you know that's I, interesting. I, I see that every day, like on the on the street, like I see Francis, you know, mm. I look around, and I go. A lot of these people are probably dealing with a lot of the same things. And nobody cool, knows what like, it is, right. Yeah. So yeah, when I you mean, say they'll, and they'll never be tested. When you say get genetically tested, do you mean like if you're experiencing something to figure it out or are you curious would you be curious if you were a carrier or would you even know if you were a carrier? Yeah, exactly. So a lot of these um genetic mutations, they they kind of show themselves later in life as well. Mm. So working with N. Lorem, um, this foundation will will help fund for anybody. Like it's there's there's no like status to it. Like it's go and apply, and they will help you try to develop these treatments. Um, it's they they have a patient there that's like sixty years old, mm. and and it, their their genetic mutation showed itself later in life. Uh, Zoe and I both got tested to see if we were carriers of this just to check and we weren't mm. wow. wow yeah these can just pop up wow wow well uh the the gofundme by the way it's in the pinned it's in the description i'm definitely gonna donate to it oh i gotta tell you man now that i'm a father it's like nothing upset not i don't think anything upsets me more than like Seeing children suffer, mm -hmm. it's just, it's just not right. It should just never happen. You know, yeah. they're like just so pure of soul and innocent. It's like, it's just so, I don't know, it shouldn't happen. And the parents too, you know, but you guys look really strong. <laughs> 
You're smiling all Francis. the time. <laughs> Do you have faith? Are you are you a religious guy? No, I wouldn't no. say so, but um I do love Frances and she is she's just so fun <laughs> to hang out with, like go out with and see how she like interacts with people. I mean just all kids. It's pretty hard like at having kids and looking at adults, like I just see little kids everywhere. <laughs> like I just see kids everywhere I go. And maybe it's the world that I work in, but I do believe um I do believe things happen for a reason. I do, I do believe I, I was given Francis, and I think that's a really powerful thing. And I, I feel so lucky to have what we have. Like I, I, like I said, I can't, I couldn't imagine, like imagine being a parent who is working two jobs, mm. or three jobs, and your kid's having seizures and they say, oh, let's do genetic testing. Oh, it's this thing. It's going to be $20 million. How do you process that? So wait, what was the twenty million for? Just the cost over like a lifetime Is, of really. Wait, wait, wait. You've spent that much? No, no, no. We haven't. We're in the process of raising the money and um, working with Enlorum to develop treatments. The cost of developing these drugs is extremely high I right see, now. I see, I see. Just because it's so new, the science is so new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That the cost is is very high, and the more we get through families like Francis and other families around, the the lower that cost goes. Mm. I it does sound like it would be like extremely expensive too, because I know how fucked up our healthcare system is to you know care for a child with so much particular needs. I can I mean, I can imagine that's probably been another thing you guys have been dealing with. Yeah, uh, yeah, that that was that was the whole thing. Like, I mean, so and I immediately were like, we have a pretty big song, dude. I feel pretty successful, and to look look around and go like, oh shit, we can't even pay for this. Like, we can't sell things and pay for it. And uh, yeah, the doctors were like, keep her in the home, like, like keep things as stable and as consistent as possible, and like fi find people like Ann Lorem help fund and lorem and these foundations that that search for uh, cures for these diseases search for treatments i mean the real goal is like these these bigger treatments and these cures are like 10 years out five mm. years 10 years out so you're like trying to delay the way it affects mm -hmm. francis so you don't want to it to progress too far so that when you say it's like a i guess do you know what these drugs will do that they're developing they're not developed yet, so oh, they they don't know what's the benefit or what or it is. They're just testing stuff. Yeah, so I mean, they're they know that these um, these treatments work. Mm. They they've seen them work. I mean, that's just the nature of like this. Uh, getting approval in our healthcare system takes time, and it takes a lot of families getting tested to get that approval and mm. getting those drugs through. They know these drugs work. But they can't, I mean, they really can't say with um, certainty, like, if it will work for Francis, you know, it's worked for other kids. Mm. So, wow, fuck, that's frustrating, too, just waiting for that. Yeah, I mean, well, obviously, that's the hardest part. Mm. Well, anyway, what's for dinner tonight? <laughs> 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 hey, uh, thank you guys for talking about that. I did not expect to be jumping on and discussing Francis, and she is my favorite subject. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, dude, uh, th thank you guys for what you do. I mean, you guys do such oh, such cool thanks, cool man. shit. And so yeah, I are... appreciate you giving us Zach for the the <laughs> evening. Yeah, he, I I lend him out from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> So John, I mean, you're you're a fan of podcast. Um, who's your favorite cast member? <laughs> oh, favorite. Why favorite. would you ask that, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> well, he has to say Zach. Like kids, no. dude. Yeah, we're all kids, bro. You can't pick a favorite. Right, 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 right. Sick. But you had to choose one. Are you a fan though? You you watch regularly? Talking about podcasts? Yeah. Yeah. 
Fuck yeah, dude. That's what's up. Yeah, he's family, That's dude. what is up. I, I, just, I just have to say something about John. He is, like, the coolest guy. He played the bowl. He flies home, and then, like, I'm talking to him, and he's like, oh, dude, I'm at a minor league baseball game right now. Like, he's been on a roll. Like, he's nonstop, dude. I love it. It's dad shit. Yeah. That, you know, I mean, yeah, let's be real, dude. We got to support Portland sports. Hell yeah. You know what, John? Dad's fucking rule. <laughs> That's right. That's what I say to all my dad friends. Dad, mm. Solidarity and dad. Good dad <laughs> unite. You know what I mean? We're out here. That's fucking right. Lena, are you there? Yep, I'm here. You Can you donate 5000 to the... Go fund me. Yep, I'll do that. From your personal money. Okay. Yeah, no, not from us, from you. I'm on it now. And you got, yeah, if anyone else is interested. Yeah, Lena and AB, like, whoa, what's the deal? I thought we were coming to the show. They you were away. Out? Yeah. I, yeah, we were in uh, Arizona for the weekend and we were rushing back. Um, without saying too much, uh, we were with family and having some family drama, but we really wanted to be there. You know, we've been uh, fans of you for a while, and of course we want to support Zach as well, so we were very upset. Mm. We'll be there for the next one. Yeah, we were really bummed. We really wanted to go. Well, listen, if it makes you, f I, maybe it f feels better, none of us went to see Oliver Tree. And we're like fairly <laughs> well acquainted with him. You know, that was actually my first concert ever, pretty much. Ever? Yeah. I don't go to Yeah, the we concert. didn't talk about that. Oh, oh shit. That long. must have been yeah, never crazy been to for a you. Concert. What was I don't, that like? Well, in general, I don't like being in crowded places. <laughs> mm. Like, I have to come He's from the Swedish out. countryside. I have it's to come out for this one. Because it seemed cool. And, well, I liked it a lot. It was really, <laughs> really cool. Yes. You're going to hate the future ones where you just get a ticket and you have to go like a, yeah. like a pleb <laughs> exactly. loser. Yeah. yeah. Um... What are you guys working on, band-wise? Uh, we just put out a record, so we just put out um, Chris Black, Changed My Life. Um, probably working on new stuff, touring quite a bit, I guess. We'll probably try to pop down for Zach's San Diego show, of course. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> just shout out. Go. Appreciate wow. that, buddy. So that's the name of your guys' new album? I'm trying to look it up here. Yeah, it's Chris Black, Changed My Life. Which is also tied to Francis Changed My Life. The, oh, the this just came out is, in June. Yeah, it just came out. So the whole thing is our friend Chris toured with us. Uh, he was like our MC. People call him like our hype man. <laughs> he was just like our friend uh, just to be on your side. I don't really like crowds of people either. Like it's I get anxiety being on stage. It's. It's weird that I ended up playing music, but I, I just love being around passionate people. Mm. And Chris, Chris was my buddy that like took all that weight off of me. He, he like loved attention. So he'd come mm. out and he would dance and <laughs> he'd be like, everybody look at me, you know, and just mess around. And the album is about talking about friends of ours. Like, I wish I had told him a lot of things while he was alive. He, he passed away a few years ago mm. and uh, he really did so much for me and so Chris, Chris Black changed the band's life, helped us see things differently. Francis changed my life personally. It's, it's really just about talking about people around us who changed our lives. And mm -hmm. uh, really, it's been kind of sick, like organically in comment sections, seeing people shout out their friends mm. and say like, yo, Jeff changed my life. And Jeff mm. jumps in and is like, that's crazy, dude. <laughs> I'm looking, the, the reviews I'm seeing online are great, so you guys should definitely go sh stream, fucking <laughs> download, you know what I'm saying? Chris Black changed my life. It's family. This is family music now. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. Well, uh, it was really uh, great to connect with you and kind of learn about your story and everything. And Yeah. I feel like People like you guys are really inspiring just to see you going through something like that and being so strong. I'm sorry. She's pregnant. <laughs> I thought I could hold it. <laughs> yeah, no, I get teary eyed listening to that. I mean, I, there's a story I want to tell you, but it's kind of dark. 
but I always find it interesting. I'm not a religious man either. You probably know that if you watch. <laughs> <coughs> but uh, it was like, I forget who wrote it, but they says that they don't believe in God. And the reason why they don't believe in God, of all the terrible things that happen in the world, you know, that people do to each other, but the one thing that, like, uh, does not make sense to him is, like, when bad things happen to kids. Because, like, like I was saying, they're innocent. They haven't hurt anybody. All they need is support and nourishment. And, like, if there is a God, and I know, like, religious people say, like, you know, this happens for a reason, that happens for a reason, it's all God's plan. But, and he was saying, and I agree, there's nowhere in God's plan where kids are, suffer that uh, is acceptable for, in any God's plan, you know. He said it a lot more poetically than that, but I always, I always remember that story. And, uh, it really is the hardest thing, man. It's the one fucking thing that gets me since becoming a dad. How's your wife doing? Are you married? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was pretty, pretty tough. Like, just seeing all of this stuff and not knowing what it was. Uh, it's definitely brought us together, like, tackling the whole thing, you know, taking it on. I, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty heavy being around such, like, a... Fun kid, but Zoe is like the expert. She's like the mm. leading expert mm. on DHDDS. Wow. I mean, that's what, the, the, I mean, the parents of, of those kids, I mean, yeah. you become the expert. You have to. There's there's not enough of them around to put resources in that basket, you know? Oh, so, by the way. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. No, it's it's been really inspiring for me being around her and watching her just endlessly like consume all of this these research papers and mm. have you guys ever thought about if you'll you're gonna have more kids? Uh, I, <laughs> Am I putting I you on the spot? Yeah. <laughs> I don't you, think we could. Yeah. Hands uh, are full. Yeah, Francis. Francis is everything. <laughs> Francis is like five kids. Right, you know, she right. is <laughs> she is pretty wild. By the way, thank you to Lena Ayad who donated five thousand dollars. <laughs> On behalf of Ethan Klein, yes. Thank you, Ethan. It says it says Lena. But Thank. right under it says donated yeah. on behalf. Just because of my account, it's all it allows me to do. Well, it's about the money, not about the credit, right, Lena? Or I mean, right, uh, Ethan? I mean, right, uh, John? Um, uh, thank you, guys. Um, well, yeah, you guys... This, this means a lot. You guys are heroes. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely... Well, listen, let's stay in touch, you know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'll give you some updates. I'll send you some Francis videos. Yeah, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be awesome. So, uh, guys, this is important. Chris Black changed my life. Go stream it. In fact, go to, like, Best Buy and all the phones and stream it there. <laughs> That's Open probably not helpful. Yeah. Go, to the, go to the Apple store, open it there, set it on autoplay. No, I don't know. The album is incredible. It is going to be like top of my Spotify rap this year. So, <laughs> yes, please go listen to it. It's nice. so good. Nice. <laughs> good shit, dude. <laughs> Thanks for calling. It's nice to connect with you. Sweet yeah, man. Yeah, connecting with all of you, man. Uh, and thank you, Teddy Fresh. Absolutely. Oh, we should feel so like welcome. Well, we got to keep it cool coming, man. Yeah. We know she likes it. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, um, I'm going to go fuck a donut now. 
<laughs> so I don't know if you're going to stick around for that, but, uh, but that, that's what's going to be coming up next. Yeah, I will watch from home. Yeah. <laughs> John, I, I just want to say thank you again, brother. It was absolutely amazing. Dude, of course. Thank you. Uh, there's nothing I love more than just throwing somebody on a stage and being like, Good luck. <laughs> right. no, no rehearsal. Yeah. No rehearsal. Um, but that was just rock and roll, baby. Amazing. Zach yeah, told I don't me he blow you up on this, Zach, but we did do a sound check. Okay, we did do a sound check. We did do... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's one rehearsal. <laughs> Pull back the curtain. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, Zach told me he hasn't slept in three days because he's still buzzing. I'm still buzzing <laughs> from the fucking being on stage with you guys. <laughs> And listen, Zach's an established musician. We're talking about the Roxy. I mean, We're talking about time. the... Troubadour. Troubadour. We're talking <laughs> yeah. about the... He's on the number Viper one room. podcast in the world. That's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you for letting us come, too. Yeah, it was appreciated very much. <laughs> very cool. Yeah, of course. Thank you for coming. I love the Yes covers you guys were doing, too. It was a beautiful performance all around, though. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, thank you guys. Oh, my God. I did... Not expect any of this. <laughs> well, man, uh, me neither, actually. You know, uh, but I'm glad we chatted. This has been a, uh, an incredible connection we made. So thank you again, and let's stay in touch. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, take care. <laughs> well, that is uh, John from Portugal, the man. I wanted to ask him now, I t what is Portugal the Man? It's pro people probably know that. I'm just like a yeah. normie. What is it? Who's Portugal? Let's ask ChatGPT. Yeah, forget <laughs> ask Don. Ask your best friend. Let's, let's ask <laughs> the real the man professional. The band. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay, here's Cam's. Okay, well, before I show this, what a guy. I mean, wow. Yeah. Heartbreaking. Really, yeah. Such a sweet, seems like the sweetest guy. Mm -hmm. The amount of love he has for Francis is just, Beautiful. it's absolutely amazing. Doesn't actually say who the man is, but... Who's Portugal? Who is he? Who the fuck is Portugal? Should we get him back on the phone? Uh, <laughs> it's a, 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 here, it's a alter ego, like Ziggy Stardust or Sgt. Pepper. It's our character to represent us as a band in picking a country's name. It was one name that represented a group of people. It made sense for a while, but we regretted it ever since that day. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're stuck with it now. <laughs> kind of like H3. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> well, thank God damn, man. He's a beautiful man, so appreciate John, him calling. John said, this means so fucking much to me. Please thank the whole game. Aww. Gang. Aww. He's just the biggest sweetheart in the world. Legend. Thanks, bro. Yeah, it was nice to talk to you. I didn't know, I didn't expect any of this stuff either. I just wanted to thank you for having Zach on. Mm. You know? Ay, ay, ay. So much respect for him and his wife. Yeah, people that have to go through stuff like that with their children, it's just, I mean, it's so hard on the whole family. Good. That just becomes their life. And like, here's the, here, like, you love them so much, and yeah. then you're, always knowing and worrying right. because he says it's a de degenerate degenerative disease yeah. meaning it gets worse over time and like just to to you know obviously yeah by the way not that this is important or that i care but apparently <laughs> they updated it to my name oh right lena <laughs> How'd you that was quick. Not that I, I don't care. I mean, I don't need the credit for it or anything. <laughs> Happy for you, though. How'd you do that, Lena? How'd you do that? It's hard for Lena to hear you over there. Oh, she can't Oh, no, hear me. sorry. I heard. I was just uploading a video, but um, I the name for the donation. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, it gave me the option to edit. I oh. didn't see that until after, so. Oh, that's cool. You I didn't have to do that. that. That's okay. I, I don't care. That. It's not a big deal to me, but uh, we can change it back. I guess it, I, <laughs> change it back. <laughs> well, no, you don't need to do the extra work or anything. It's All right, though. Yeah. Not a big From deal. The, I guess, on behalf of the clients, maybe. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Uh, uh, not to be like uh, 
Should have done 5,001. Not to be braggadocious or anything, and yeah. not it's not in my nature to be like this, but actually, uh, this is me as well, Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> so. Like that Curb episode. <laughs> oh, shit. What a fucking legend, dude. I just want to say, it's, it's not $5,000. I also donated it as well. I wanted to support oh. the cause, and um, That's nice. John is just the fucking man. He's the fucking man. There it is. Are we ready for the donut, Daddy? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. So, this is very fun uh, to completely segue. I don't think any of us expected to have a tearjerker here at 2.50 p.m. No. <laughs> on Friday. I thought it was Friday. But as Woo! soon as you started talking about this topic, I was like, <laughs> trying not to, well, I had to break down because it. it's so hard. It's so hard to talk about it. Yeah, and I mean, Bruce is... Not even two years old. Right. Like, you just don't know. And just know how much we love him, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's just so pure and so innocent. Yeah. And he doesn't deserve anything but, like, just love and joy and happiness. The, the, this poem, I don't even remember what it was. It was a short story, but this guy was like... Uh, you know, adults, they've tasted from the nectar of life. Even any, anyone over 18, they've felt, they've ex experienced, they've, they've made mistakes, they've done good things, they've, they've lived yeah. a life. But like a child has not even, you know, I don't know. To me, that makes sense. I don't know how you can explain that. And I'm not trying to be an edgy atheist. It's just my personal opinion. I don't know how <sighs> you fit that in with this, the theory of God existing. I don't know where that fits into his plan, you know? Is this good? Ratio denied. <laughs> <laughs> loser, 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 loser. <laughs> this is pretty good. Should That's we post this good. and tag him? Uh. <laughs> Not, maybe, can you work up another version for us, Cam? Uh, can you give me a direction? I'm out of ideas here. So less, like... more just like, more just focused on the ratio denied. And like for Twitter, like tighter, maybe more of like a square. Mm. Okay. Should I get rid of all like the text and shit and just I think so. Because yeah, it, it's got to be visually very, simple. like you, you got to, yeah, you got to be able to look at it and then understand this loser got ratio denied. Okay. I'll, I'll get back in the shop. Yeah, we'll keep working on it. It's okay. It's a work in progress. This is, yeah, big deal. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be beautiful. Ready to go by the end of the show for sure. All right, let's talk about Daddy Donut Daddy. So on TikTok, I'm so curious. There is such a Daddy. variety of thirst traps. Yeah. 